हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 दिस क्वेश्चंस बिलोंग टू कम्युनिकेशन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मॉडरेट अप्रोच ऑफ इंटरकल्चरल कम्युनिकेशन एंड वी हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट आंसर फ्रॉम द गिवन ऑप्शंस फाइव सेंटेंसेस हैव बीन गिवन एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दैट व्हिच आर द करेक्ट एंड व्हिच आर द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट हियर स्टेटमेंट ए सेज इंटरकल्चरल कम्युनिकेशन इज यूनिडिसिप्लिनरी इन ऑर्डर टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन वी मस्ट नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ intercultural communication so intercultural communication is an important part of intercultural competence or the ability of effectively function across culture and with those from other cultures as our world gets smaller and globalization gets stronger intercultural competence and great intercultural communication become a necessity to be successful so here what they are trying to say is we have a culture where a group of people is following in a region or we can say there is a, another region in which another culture has been followed by the people so the communication between these two cultures people is called the intercultural communication communication and study about the other people's religion and understand their ethics is the part of the intercultural communication here we are trying to understand the culture of the other region peoples so we are talking about the two different region and in the sentence one a says that intercultural communication is unidisciplinary unidisciplinary means they are the talking about the single entity so here we clearly see that intercultural means where more than one participant is included here so the option a is incorrect because this one is incorrect so we can eliminate the option in which a has been included so here by clearly see that option 1 and 4 can be eliminated let's read the second statement a communicator is a change agent yes it is very true that if a communicator is one who is communicate with the other people and he or she can share his or her thoughts with the other person and the impact of these thoughts on the other person can become can be a effect of the change or the other person may adopt the thinking what the communicator is trying to convey so yes it is very true that so the b statement is correct here so the statement in which b option is given we can take that and rest of the statement we can eliminate so here option 3 we can directly eliminate but still read let's read the third statement so c statement says that a continuum is the representative of social change here a new term arrived that continuum is what continuum means something that change in characters gradually and so the third statement is also correct here now d statement says that change is a response to both inside and outside stimuli so option number d is also correct because we already eliminate 1 3 and 4 so here correct option for this question will be option number 3